Why have you refused to debate your opponent? She wants to go head to head, toe to toe with you, with a moderator. Dozens of interviews and had uh, press availability across the state, and we're going to continue to do that and talk directly to the voters. But don't you think perhaps some of your opponents say it makes you look weak? You also refuse to deba debate your primary opponent as well. Well, that was a different story, and I won that uh, by a wide margin, so it was not an issue. But. Um, I uh, for, as far as I'm concerned, the debate about debates is over. I'm running my campaign the way I'm running my campaign. I'm going to continue to make the case directly to voters. The, the case you make to them, and not to, to belabor that point, is they, they do. They, it, it are tough times for a lot of folks. We talk yeah. about the economy, inflation, and I know there's a rising cost of living here. Uh, people are putting somebody in that office that they want to stand up for them and fight mm -hmm. for them. At worst, it could come off as you're scared to step on that stage. And at best, you're not willing to confront. We're in a new era where, where sometimes some politicians are seen as bullies. And we've been taught since we were little kids, you gotta stand up to a bully. You won't, you, you understand how that might come across. How do you make a case? We wanna send you to fight for us, but you won't even step I, on stage with I have it. stood up to this bully for the past two years. Uh, and that's, and Arizonans have seen that and I'm gonna continue to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. I want to talk about something. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And first thing I want to say is welcome to Patriot News Network 2. I am Matt. And uh, what killed me about this video is those reporters did not buy her crap one bit. That uh, she doesn't need to debate uh, Carrie Lake. First thing, she's behind Carrie Lake by four points. Now, that's including if you include the, uh, the uh, how they uh, come up with these polls by oversampling Democrats by three or four percent so more likely she's ahead of her by at least six to seven percent and it would probably help if she would debate her but she you know if you watch that how she was speaking to those uh reporters you understand why she won't she's too much like a child she's not willing to go out there and get out of her comfort zone it's all about her safe space that's the reason she didn't debate during the democrat nomination when uh, the primaries were going on and now she won't do it in the, in the general election. But guys, that's my opinion. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.